Hi guys. It looks that my cell phone has been snooping on me. I mentioned yesterday in my movie all those videos where people put together videos from AliExpress with different offers, offers that they haven't tried themselves, but they recommend them. They just put this all together, re-edit and throw it onto YouTube. And what does my phone recommend to me today? This uh, title is in Polish. 22 crazy things from AliExpress recommended by some uptash. So let's take a look at the movie, but I think it'll be just a bunch of stuff put together by some guy that he hasn't actually tested himself. Okay, so the movie is actually in Polish, but can clearly see it's just a bunch of movies put together from AliExpress offers, bunch of ref links underneath. Okay, but today we'll be reviewing the 3M mask. Unfortunately, I don't have one for comparison. My wife took it to work, so we'll just have to see what we've got. So, you've probably noticed a quick change of scenery. I thought I have a 3M mask someplace in my car also, but unfortunately, that's also all gone. So, we'll just have to take a look what's inside the package. I will do that once I stop someplace. What I'm going to drive through next to the 3M factory in Wrocław where such masks are actually produced. This one probably is not from this factory. 3M has factories all over the world. And just recently, somebody posted a picture of a 3 mask bought in Germany and was very surprised that there's a text there, 3M Wrocław, and was asking questions. How is it that you can buy these masks without any problem in Germany and not in Poland? since they're produced right there in Wrocław. Well, one thing is where the big corpos produce stuff like that. Another thing is where they decide to sell them. Of course, this is the old rule of commerce. Produce where it's cheap or buy cheap and sell where it's expensive. So we don't have much rule over where such corpos decide to sell their stuff. Although I believe the government has been imposing some restrictions on export of such items. Just don't know how it actually works because such corporations could sue for lost profits and demand those would be refunded by the government if they actually have and can prove a loss. 3M Rotswaf. So that was the 3M factory in Wrocław and as you can see I found a parking spot so we can see what's inside this package but in the meantime I also picked up another package so we'll do a double unboxing. Package will you well in an additional bag of bubble wrap well, for this price I guess you also get an extra packaging. It looks legit. Packaged. GP respiratory confirms. The standard referenced of a packaging. Serial number imprint. 3M China Company LTD 2222 Tianlin Road. So I'll get on the internet and I'll check this is an actual address of 3M in China. One thing, the Chinese do copy many Western brands, but if a brand does exist on their own local market, they usually refrain from infringing on the brand names because even though it's China, they are being prosecuted for that. So this should be the official real mask. Another thing, to look out for the sales store is an actual established brand on AliExpress it's not like many of the stores that have popped out 
the the name of a seller is shop and then a whole bunch of numbers and a shop established two three months ago it appears as quickly as it will disappear they'll just sell you a bunch of fake stuff and then they'll disappear afterwards with a established store they'll rather will not risk selling something which is not real but in general it pretty much looks the same as the 3m masks we have from the local polish factories although i'm not unpacking this i'll give this to my wife she'll put it to better use than i would and now for the second package what we have here we have fountain pens kids in school nowadays are being taught handwriting using fountain pens so i thought I'll buy these Chinese ones for my daughter. Her old fountain pen has broken down, but I'm not gonna give her my Mont Blanc pen. She's now using during homeschooling, but a bit too expensive to carry to school. So I just got two fountain pens like these with two different nib sizes. One is 0.38 millimeters. The other one's a bit thicker, 0.5. I think she'll be really happy with these. So as you can see in my movies, the links you see below are to the actual products I have bought and I can recommend. So that's it for today. Be sure to like, share, subscribe and see you again soon.